Equifax speaking with reporters here today and making it clear that he says he is innocent. And he showed us this report, which he says shows he passed a lie detector test. Good morning, everyone. In his first on-camera statement in months, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax once again defending himself amid allegations he sexually assaulted two women. I did not assault Vanessa Tyson. I did not assault Meredith Watson. I look forward to clearing my good name. Both Tyson and Watson appearing in nationally televised interviews this week on CBS News. Tyson says Fairfax sexually assaulted her in 2004 while they were at the Democratic National Convention in Boston. And he's pushing down and pushing down. While Watson says Fairfax raped her while they were students at Duke University in 2000. He forcibly sexually assaulted and raped me. But today, Fairfax addressed each allegation specifically and said they're simply not true. Sensationalizing allegations does not make them true. He says he's taken two steps to prove his innocence. He says he passed a lie detector test and gave reporters copies of what he says is the report of the test and says he wants prosecutors in North Carolina and Massachusetts to investigate. He says he will meet with the prosecutors. I will answer any and all questions, and I am willing to do so under oath and under penalty of perjury. Lawmakers are back in town to consider Governor Northam's vetoes, and Republicans don't seem to buy the lie detector defense. Serial killers routinely pass polygraphs, um, so there's nothing um, magical about being able to, to defeat a polygraph. The accusers and Republicans say they want there to be a public hearing in front of the General Assembly, but so far Democrats are not biting, saying it would be too political. I think what's on the table is a circus. So for now, the next steps for the General Assembly remain unclear regarding this issue, but Fairfax remains on the job and says he has no plans of resigning. In Richmond, Brendan Ponton, News 3.